most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. So we're up near uh, Vulture's Peak, just out of Wickensburg, and we've got the drone up in the air, and we're looking around. There's quite a few small mines in the area, and there's some bigger ones. So we're going to go check them out and see if there's anything worthwhile. So I'll uh, just fly the drone around and find a bunch, and then um, we're going to go out and check these little mines out. All right, so here with uh, Steve, and uh, he's from Florence. So uh, here he's going to join me on a few of these explorations, and we're bombing around uh, Wickenburg here, and... Uh, so we found this first shaft, we're going to have a look at it, he's going to hop down there and see if it goes anywhere. We're kind of thinking it probably won't because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look that great, but yeah, who knows. We're thinking it's probably going to dead end, but maybe not. So he's going to have a look down there and see if it's worth going down there. If it is, I'll go down with him. So we'll just get him hooked up here. Let's test it, you're pulling back here. Yep, you're good. We got the parking brake set. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be a slow descent. Your, your rope's pretty thick. It is, eh? Oh yeah. No, a little work. No, it doesn't look that slow to me. <laughs> Looks like you're making her down there. Yeah. Oh, so what's there? Dead end. Yeah. That's not gonna work so good. See with that. Sure. With that, with that hand ascender, instead of having to pull it, well, that, that rope's big enough, you can actually handle it with your uh, bare hand, but. It doesn't take much for me, though. I'm not very heavy. Yeah. All right, so we'll just keep bombing around here and we'll find us another one. There's another little hole here, so we're gonna have a look in this one. Probably not going to go in too far, but uh, well, we've got to check them out, right? Okay. Just a bit of a deep line, not very steep. <laughs> I don't think it's going to go very far. Yeah, she's going to be plugged. Just a little bit in here. Yeah, not very exciting at all. <laughs> Steve and I are in this dry wash here. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to see, you know, you think there's a little hole that you think, well, I can't really go in very far um, because there's no waste rock, but they just dumped the waste rock in this wash and then over time uh, the creek just uh, disposed of it. So um, we're going to head into here and have a look. I don't know if we're going to have to tie up to the side by side or if we can go in and uh, find another place to tie up and we'll show you what we got here. So first of all, there's a a pretty good shaft going down. You don't want to fall down there. There we go. I don't know if that might even be plugged. We're not really sure. We'll see when we get to the other part. We might go down there yet. We'll see. First, we're going to go down this part here. I don't know if we're going to have to anchor back outside onto the side by side if we can find something to anchor on. Sometimes a problem. Find a good anchor point. Pretty warm in here. Oh yeah, we can probably that just ends there. We can probably use something in here to anchor on to. Oh for sure. Yeah, we just anchor around there, that'd be fine. And we're gonna go down here. That's the plan. Don't know if it goes anywhere, but be fun to go down. So we want to be on ropes going down there. Man, this stuff is pretty, uh, they drilled and blasted it. Nice looking wedges in here. <laughs> nice looking mine. So we're going to have a look down here first. Well, they stole some ties or this are old railway ties they used for timbering there. Yeah, it's like I said, there's a bladder going down, but I don't know, I don't want to trust the damn thing. Kind of interesting, we're way under the creek, so this rock can't be refractured, otherwise that would be all flooded. You would almost expect it to be flooded, but it doesn't seem to be. 
So they had a, uh, a windlass here, as you can see. Maybe it's at the bottom of the of the winds. We'll see. A pretty crumbly rock in here, as you can see. Nice looking setup. There we go. Oh, there's lots of places to tie up here. That's not a problem. Alrighty. Well, like I said, the ladder doesn't look too bad. It's missing some rungs at the bottom. But, yeah, probably going to be on a rope going down there. You know, the other thing that could work really good, since we don't really need that much rope, if we just, if we loop you down there and I keep the tail up here, you can go down. And then when you come back up, I can kind of, I can pull just, you up. Just belay me up as I come yeah, up the ladder. Yeah, that worked too, yeah. All right, so Stephen's going to go down, down the first, and we'll see what we can find down there, see if I'm going to go down there or not. Yeah, if, if Dad's watching, I'm sorry. I know you told me not to do this, but <laughs> if you're seeing it, it means I'm already safe. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 there'll be a picture of uh, you drinking beer shortly to follow. So. <laughs> yeah. Now, the stairs are probably fine, but yeah, you just don't want to trust it. Yeah, yeah, there's some missing as you go further down, but definitely the safer way to doing it. And then when he comes back up, I'm just going to pull up. As he climbs up, I'm just going to keep pulling it up. Capture his progress. It'd be a good place to try that new curl that I got. If I go down there, I'll try my curl out. My pencil curl. Hmm. So we got a new feature on the channel now. If you go on the on the link and click on it, um, you can watch all the videos. And the advantage of, uh, of of clicking on my playlist is when it's finished playing, the next video in the series will automatically come up, rather than just some random uh, a, a random video coming up. How's it look? It looks like we're out of mine. You think we're out of mine? You know what? We got a cross cut right here. Right there. Now that's what I wanted to hear. Cool. So it goes in the ways. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that's good news. It looks like two drifts going off this way. Okay. Um, yeah, well, uh, get off rope somewhere, and I'm going to put up my rig, and I'm going to go down. Yeah. All righty. We got Frank coming down the hole, kind of hiding underneath this beam here, in case he kicks a rock on me. Is your Grigri doing okay with that rope? Yeah, well, I don't have a Grigri, but yeah. Ah. It's fine with that. Okay, so we made it down here. Wasn't uh, too exciting. The bottom of the of the hole here is plugged. It doesn't go any further. Maybe it never did. It might have been just a sump here. So, um, but there's a cross cut here, so we're going to head up, follow Steve here. Whoa. Broke the ladder. <laughs> I rung off the ladder. A little bit of melt right there. So this side here didn't go very far. It just ends right there. And there's the vein. So not too far down here. There's, there's a cross cut above us, but it doesn't go very far. Uh, yeah. Alright, so we'll follow you. Steve here. Let's see where we can. There's a little, kind of a cool little. The way the railway track is really small. A little skinny in here, but not too bad. Yeah, she's kind of a warm one in here today, but not terrible. Well, somebody had a little glow stick in here. Hope that wasn't what you're using for a light. <laughs> it wouldn't work very good. So that shaft, we're gonna have to go in the shaft right at the portal because they don't connect. We ran out of mine, Frank. That's it. I think so. Hands right there. Hands right here. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't too surprised. Look at the foot wall here, that was pretty neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking at that. Yeah. Alright, I guess we're heading back up then. And then we got some other places we can explore. There's some more branches further up. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe not with the stretchy rope, huh? No, it'd be all right. It's not, it's not giving you problems. Okay, so so this is how we pulled him up. I just he just came up and I just captured this, which is works pretty cool. 
So I just captured his progress. So, so now he's going to go down this other hole. Okay, so he's just going to walk backwards. And I'm actually holding on to his line. So the advantage of doing it this way is uh, if something happened, it's a kind of a secondary backup I'm holding on to him too. Well, I think we do. Huh? I might not be able to hold you. You got a knot at the end, right? They're not connected to the other side, so you can probably just go straight down this side here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'll hold on to your tail with one hand here. So you got an extra level of safety. Woo! Yeah. Careful where you step, right? Uh, yeah, don't knock too much out. We still got to leave here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, if we're on if we're on line going across there, then it'd be a lot safer. She's a little crumbly. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're good on ropes. Extra level of safety. Woo! Careful where you step, Frank. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't knock too much out. We still got to leave here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, well, if we're on if we're on a line going across it, it'll be a lot safer. It's a little crumbly. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're good on ropes. Yeah, that's okay. Come on. Don't get slack here. Okay, yeah. Give it back to me. Okay, we go. Not very far down, so it's not really that. It's not really that hazardous there. Probably the biggest hazard is all the dust. <laughs> what are we seeing down there, Steve? Uh, Anything exciting? Oh, it does go back past the blockage. Maybe another. 15 feet. Oh yeah, 15. That's it. Yeah, and then it. I'm trying to see if it crosses. It's all right. I made it. <laughs> Can you get past that? Can you get past that wall? There you go. You know, I'm sure I probably could, but it's looking like it's, uh, that's the end of it there. Oh yeah, you don't think there's a cross cut there? Unless it cuts underneath me, you know, I don't... That's up to you if you think it's worthwhile or not. Here, let me, let me move some of this junk out of my way. The problem is you go down here and then when this thing goes... <laughs> Yeah, I just don't see the. Uh, I, I don't want to risk it because I don't think it's it's going anywhere. And yeah. okay, we're gonna capture his progress as he comes up. I'm not actually pulling him up, but I'll just keep it like that. Works pretty good. Bad. There we go. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Yeah. Not too bad. There we go. Okay, well, let's have a look at some of these other. I don't think there's anywhere else to go down, but the seat goes back. There's a whole bunch of branches back here. Yeah, it's like that, that blockage, and then it went down, but it's like. Yeah, you couldn't really, you couldn't see anything on this wall, that wall, yeah. this wall. Maybe it went back this way, but I doubt it. Yeah. Well, we know it didn't join the other 
No. We don't know it didn't join the other branch here, so. All right, let's have a look. We'll just go straight and we'll check out these other branches, see if we can find anything. You want to go ahead? Yeah. Makes it. You see, this isn't a really huge mine, but it actually does go in quite a, quite a ways. I kind of scoped it out a little bit yesterday, but uh, it's getting dark and I had a pair of ways to go back to camp, so I thought we'd come back today and check it all out. So, uh, that looks like it just ends, but you want to go up there and have a look? Yeah, sure. I think it just ends there. I don't think there's anything in there. Unless there's a raise. Does it just end? You would be wrong, Frank. Oh, it carries on? Okay. You got some good mine over here. Huh. Yeah, it's funny, you wouldn't expect there'd be much here because there's not even any waste rock, but like I said the river carried it all the way. Okay, well. Let's see which way you want to go. Gotta go to the right, that's the rule. <laughs> <laughs> If you if you learn anything, oh yeah, nothing. Yeah. Peace out. There we go. So we'll carry on. Oh, there's a bit of a decline there. Hmm. A little spider here. Spider, yeah. That one doesn't look dangerous. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of stalls that were holding all that up. But how far can we get down there? Not very far. <coughs> Nothing, no, nope, just yeah. dead in there, yeah. Nothing left or right. Another little uh, winds there. Mm -hmm. Got a few more branches to check out here. Oh wow, this one's sweet. No idea what this one's called, it's kind of unusual because this uh, hasn't been fenced off by the government with any warning things or anything, so we got to go to the right. Yeah. I was looking, here's our, uh, where we were just at. Yeah, joins up there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing much here. It goes back. Oh, well, it didn't go back, you know. That's it there. This little room here is really collapsed. It's really unstable, I think, on the top there. And then uh, this is just a little, this probably just joins up to the, yeah, joins up to where we were there. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we'll go this way. This is the last branch. This, oh. Yep. Goes down here, ways, huh? Got some rattlesnakes down here. Huh? Didn't even think rattlesnakes would win this far. Where is it? Here, it's right here. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's a big one too. Look at the size of <laughs> how long this skin is. You wouldn't think they'd go in this far because we're dark and. Hmm. I don't think we're in the mine. That's gonna. That's gonna be it, huh? Yeah. 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 Hmm. It's a little bigger than I thought it was gonna be, huh? Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's not great, but it's not bad either. I would say it was more interesting going down the couple of areas there. Yeah, we know there's a mine cat here because we got all this shit here. We didn't see him, so. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for this one. Okay, so we're on a bit of a safari today with Steven again. And there's a Palo Verde. Which is, uh, you don't see those trees very much in the, in the desert. One thing you see lots of is these guys. Those are Choya, those are the nastiest ones you, we run into anyhow. I don't know if they're the nastiest uh, cactuses in the world. Uh, let's see what else do we got here. There's this the... It's an Ocotillo. Ocotillo? Yeah, and uh, at about uh, May, I think, they start to get these uh, really pretty green leaves that grow on them. And it's about the only green you're going to see out in the desert. <laughs> and then we have the, the barrel cactus. So these are ones that you don't want to you know, run over with a vehicle or something because they get you a flat tire. There's a couple ones that are kind of, these Troyes are not bad to run over, but they stick to your tire, but they won't go through it. Could possibly be a very old mine up there. So we're going to have a look up there. We're going to hike up there and see if we can get in there. Yeah, we're going to try to burn this cactus off. And it's really damp. We've got lots of rain around here, so we don't have to worry about starting a fire or anything. But this dry cactus should burn pretty good. And if there's any rats in there, they'll probably be coming out of there pretty quick. See how dry this stuff is. Try this. This might be a good way of getting rid of the choya. We get it burned and throw it inside there where it's a little thicker. There's not much choy right there. It might work a little better. I'm gonna see some rats if there's any rats in there. <laughs> be kind of a, a different version of what rats leaving the sinking ship they'd be leaving <laughs> burning mine.
never a good idea to start a fire in a mine if you're planning on going in there for the simple reason that there'd be no oxygen in there and, and most people like to breathe that. Never thought of doing this before, but I think it's a good idea. Yep, tried to tell you they light up like a Christmas tree. You don't have to worry about starting a fire or nothing because it's not, it's really damp here. We got a bunch of rain, so all the stuff outside is damp and there's not much fuel anyway, so then it's not going to get outside of here. It'll just stay in this little hole. Huh, it's a cool thing to dry. Yeah, it burns very clean. So we're gonna have a look at this one. And that uh, goes in a ways at least. Don't expect it to be too extensive, but um, well, sometimes you get surprised. Probably just get a cactus in the ass, that'll probably be the biggest surprise. <laughs> That's not really much of a surprise here. Whoa, look at all the joy in there. Crazy. Well, there's a rat. See him? It's the guy that's responsible for all the groceries in here, I'm sure. That's a kangaroo rat. A small little rat. I can see a kangaroo rat. Or looks like a small rat. Long tail? Maybe it's a peck rat. A little rat has buried himself in the cactus, if you can believe that. Oh, there's a little hole at the very end. And look at that black material there. So, no, nothing here, but oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to kick someone with those, eh? <laughs> They're nearly carpet <laughs> shoes now. <laughs> oh, I can feel one in my ass. Goodbye. So, here goes Steve. He's heading down. This is pretty steep. That is really steep. And he's got a kind of an oar. You know, from here I can tell there's no crosscut. I was just kind of curious how you're going to get out of there. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing too. Because it's like quite steep, you know. It not not just that, but it, it cuts back, you know. You know, not only. Look like there's any loose rock there, so that looks pretty good. That is really steep. But you know, you know from here I can tell there's no cross cut. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda hard to see. No, I can see good. I'm, I'm like, we're right over the top of it. Yeah. You know, if I was coming up this side where you're at, Frank, it wouldn't be so bad. I'd get my feet up against the wall. Yeah. But, but here it cuts back in, you know, and then fucking, I'd be, I'd be basically pulling myself up the rope, you know? Yeah. I would be able to use my feet. I got some new rigging that I was going to try. I don't mind trying that if you don't want to do it. Yeah, go for it. I, I just don't see any point. I mean, I'm. Yeah. I was just going to try this new, uh... You want that flat screen down there? I'm going to... Let me give it a try. I'd like to try it because I want to try this new rig that I got. All right. See, that's you're going straight up and down. So I've got the foot loop and the, and the curl, the petzl curl. I've never tried. And it's just a small little hole. So yeah. it'd be a good place to try doing a vertical, um, okay. a straight vertical descent. And it's fairly safe. It's... But, yeah. Okay. Right, let me try it. It's not very far to go down there. So if I run into trouble, I'm not going to fall too far. The idea I wanted to do this because it's an overhang. That's the way I want. That's the reason I'm doing down, going down here. Yeah. Because I wanted to try this uh, going up over an overhang. See how it works. I mean, there's lots of things we can do to get me out. If we have problems, including the winch. <laughs> I don't already, think that's. Is this already going or? Yeah, it? yeah, it's rolling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty crumbly. I'm not going to cause any problems. It's a nice vein of stuff here. Let's see if there's anything interesting down here. <laughs> it captures your progress pretty nicely. 
Yeah, I guess it did as advertised. I don't know if I need the... Well, the one bad thing is I don't have a... I should have a safety on here. Now I got the foot loop on there. That's better. <laughs> so with the curl, let's go. I'm going to tie it into this, right? Right. Yeah, it does capture, you know, it does capture the, your progress good. I don't know, it's another tool I got. It doesn't work too bad, it's alright. Yeah. These things mostly you just try them out and then you're kind of thinking about it and then, you know, it's good, good to learn about these different ways of doing stuff. There, we've discovered another mine in this wash. We love these washes because they're just the easiest way to get through the desert. And they're usually dry, except if it rains and they flood in a few minutes. And then they'll just, uh, there'll be water in here for a few days and then they dry right up. And we've got some neat looking ore here, so. And more importantly, we found two addits here. Well, let's go have a look and see if they're any good. Oh, that's pretty skinny there. That's it? That's it. <laughs> I don't think anyone got too rich off of that bugger, huh? Oh. Alright, well let's have a peek at this one. I think it's a little bit more promising than the last. Yeah. I can't see the end from here. Good. I can't see the end from here either, but... <laughs> you got the... I'm putting this here. I don't like, I don't like just leaving it in the... You got the hand rocket. You can shoot the mountain lion. <laughs> as it comes out. Mmm. Looks good. Yeah. Not if you leave that here. <laughs> well, I like I don't want to bring it too far in, or but I just didn't want to leave it on the side by side in case anybody comes by. That's the only thing I really care about getting stolen. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> oh no, it's gonna end. I think. <laughs> yeah. I haven't had good luck finding really extensive mines in this area. Chasing here. Told us we can find this extensive cactus. Yeah. 